Hello everyone and welcome back to story mode. Took a little while, but we finally got ourselves pretty close to where I think more story is actually happening. Triton's Castle. I forgot how big this zone is. This takes a while to get around and there's a whole lot of uh... It's a pretty wide open area with a lot of branching little paths through it, so it's kind of easy to uh... It's kind of like the deep jungle in that it's uh... Easy to forget how to get to a specific area or spot. But anyway, we're here. Almost. Let's take care of these little things. Hold still. There we go. All right. Let's heal up and get in there, finally. That does look lovely, though. Oh, we're being pursued. Swim! <laughs> well, problem solved then. As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel! When will you listen? It's dangerous out there! Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, behold! You swim before the ruler of the seas! His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. Mm, they don't look familiar. Yeah. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But, Daddy... Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Guato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. Well, they really love I keeping that camera close on his face. From the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... You know, this character animation in these scenes is perfectly serviceable, but it really is impressive how much better they got at animating Disney characters in later games. I know I keep saying that, it's just very, very true. <laughs> like, I see some of the stuff coming out of the, uh, trailers for Kingdom Hearts 3 in, uh... Like, the Frozen and Tangled and, uh, Toy Story stuff, and I'm like... It's maybe- it's not- the polish isn't all the way there, like, you can still see a difference in animation quality in those- between those cutscenes and the films, but it's- it's really close. It's closer than I would ever expect video game cutscene animation to get for those characters, honestly. Anyway, I come to my grotto, I want to show you something. There it is, see? We found the grotto. <laughs> Hi, Dolphin, what's up? Dolphin? Oh, heck yeah! I can ride a dolphin! That's awesome. Where are we going? Maybe we're not going anywhere. Maybe we're just going in a circle on a dolphin. Although, frankly, maybe that is just its own reward. What more was I expecting? Anyway, let's get off the dolphin. 
Anyway, oh, fights. Fights. I am so ready for summer to not be a thing anymore. I'm ready to be recording this in lovely fall or winter weather. We're having the air conditioner off. Is it so brutal? I'm not a hot weather person, as you've probably surmised. After so many episodes of me complaining about heat. Anyway, into the grotto. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday I'm gonna see what's out there. I wanna see other worlds. Does that sound strange? Nope, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I, I mean, I still do. Good cover, Sora. Wow. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. We're just gonna skip over that musical number that would follow, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be, uh... There'll be a Little Mermaid World musical numbers in Kingdom Hearts games to come. Have no doubt about that. I'm stealing some of your human world stuff, I hope you don't mind, Ariel. I wonder if all the little goodies and knickknacks she has in here are all just the sorts of stuff you found... ...or that you saw in the movie, or if it's a whole bunch of props from elsewhere in the game, because that's a good way to recycle some assets. Or... ...if they've hidden any little, uh, Easter eggs in here. I feel like they almost certainly have. Ooh. At the very least, they've hidden some goodies, which, again, I will steal. Oh, come on, is that not an openable chest? Boo. Anyway. Uh... Where am I headed here? What's this thing? Hmm. Well, let's get out of here. Sinister eels. <laughs> Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. But the girl could prove useful, and I've got the heartless on my side. Triton, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> <laughs> A little close. Oh man, but I do love the Ursula character's voice so much. It's so good. Oh yeah, we didn't do Disney trivia on Little Mermaid yet. Silly me. So... Uh, when animating, uh, The Little Mermaid, uh, the Disney animation team actually did something that had not been done for a long time with, uh, Disney feature animation. Which is to say that they brought in, like, actual real-life actors to, like, perform as reference for the animated characters. Uh, like, they, uh, got the the uh, animators in there with all these... Yikes, almost died. Uh, they got all the animators in a little, uh, studio space, uh, with these, uh, performers, and had the animators direct the actors for these shots that they were later gonna be animating. And you don't see a lot of that anymore, but, uh, I kinda wish that it would come back, because, like, animators are kind of actors after a fashion, but we come at it from a very different way that actual actors do. And... I think, like... I think if you get some, like, real stage or screen actors performing something or acting something out, they are going to naturally come up with some interesting performance ideas that the animator would not have considered. And I feel like you kind of get the best of both worlds this way. Like, um, the performer they had in to act out, uh, Ariel's physical performance stuff for The Little Mermaid, uh, her name was... What was it? Uh, Sherry Lynn Stoner. That was her name. And you can find footage of these sessions, too, and it's really cool seeing, uh, 
seeing uh, like Glenn Keane and all these other Disney animators directing uh, Sherry and these other actors around. And you can see some of the little performance uh, nuances that those actors do on the on screen in the recordings. You can see that in like the film. Like there's this moment where uh, Sherry, uh, kind of in frustration, kind of blows her hair out of her face with her mouth, just sort of, <laughs> and that moment is totally in the film. And it's and Glenn Keane has said that that was not like an idea that he had. That was just something he saw her do naturally. In the uh, in the reference, and it looked so cool and right. No, wait, that wasn't Glen Keane. Maybe it was. Ah, oh, shoot. What's the other guy's name? It's the is the animator at Disney who animated so many of the princess characters. Mark Hen, I think that's his name. I can't remember if it was Glen Keane or Mark Hen who uh, mentioned animating that little detail from seeing it in the reference. But anyway, it's just it's a really cool approach, and. uh... I think it's one that more animated features should consider pursuing. I don't know what to do with these things. They're stopped. Maybe I cast stop on them? Ooh, he likes it. Thanks for the magic, I guess. Uh, anyone else? You are also stopped. Have some magic. Um, and now for you, I suppose, have also some magic. Hooray. So now what? Whoa, hello. So what are you here for? You seem nice. Uh, do I need to fight you? What's going on? Maybe I'll cast stop on you as well. And then I'll just... Eat you up? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I never learned what to do with these. Whoa, that's a lot of tech points. That's cool. Maybe that's all they're for? I feel like I'm supposed to get some rare synthesis items from them. Guess I got more research to be doing. Anyway, let me find the next spot I'm supposed to go. Probably Ursula's Grotto or something. <laughs> I did not know where I'm supposed to go. Come on, dolphin, take me somewhere. Riding a dolphin. Oh, I hope it takes me somewhere useful. Oh! Well, this is something. I think? No, wait, I think I've been here. Sunken ship. Oh, this is new. Lovely. I remember now why I don't enjoy this level as much. It's it's not even the deep jungle problem where it's just like big and it takes a long time to get anywhere and it's easy to get turned around, although all that is still true. It's that there are so many drawn out fights scattered across this big expanse. Like I've already been recording this one episode for like 25 minutes and I don't know what the runtime has been thus far, but I know it's not 25 minutes. So we're having to cut out almost all this. Huh, what's this? What is that thing indeed? If only I could reach it. Yes. These are all thoughts I have. Hmm. Oh, maybe Ariel could reach it. I wonder. I wonder if I need to have Ariel around for that. What is that thing? Yeah, I know. I bet I do need to interact with that to open this, so I do need to get Ariel. Hmm. Or maybe not. Yikes. Uh-oh. Shark! Shark! Goofy looking, kind of adorable shark. Ooh! Its shape does remind me of something. I know where this goes. I was kind of hoping that there would be a little, uh, save point in here so I could swap in Ariel, but maybe I don't need to. Let's fight a shark. Beat up sharks. Beat up sharks.
Smack. I love this chubby shark. It's kind of adorable. Get out of town. There we go. Whoa, a lot of experience. Love it. Get out of here. Ooh, goodies. Oh, that's fun. It's kind of like a little bonus fight. Well, back to wandering, I guess. Whew, okay. That took forever, but I went back. I got Ariel. I returned here. I really hope that I'm actually remembering correctly what I need to do here, or I'm going to be sad. Oh, come on. I was really hoping that Ariel would just go swim in there and get it. I do not remember what I'm supposed to do here. Hang on, I guess I gotta go Googling for a while. Be right back. Okay, I'm an idiot. My bad. I, uh, I picked up that little trident thing earlier, and then as soon as, like, a shark attacked me, I kind of forgot about it. But I need to take that back to Ariel's Grotto and put it in the little slot thing where that looks like a trident. Anyway, uh, we'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'd get mad about it, but really that was my fault. I just completely forgot about what I was doing. Because I'm an idiot. Here we go. And... Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! Man, come on. How could you? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. You know how long that took? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. That's fair. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. Interesting. I do love Turtle Goofy, by the way. I should have said that before. Turtle Goofy's great. My, my. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. Ursula can help. Cold, my dear. You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. That was a cool little transition. Yeah. Turtle Goofy. Octopus Donald. Dolphin Sora? Yeah, Dolphin Sora. Quite the crew we've got here. Anyhow. Flounder, are you going to say something? Where did Ariel go? I want to go look for her, but I'm sort of scared. 
All right, well, fair. Let's go look for Ariel, probably in that place I went before that I thought she was going to be able to open. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's warm in here and my brain is fried. Well, like, I've been recording this one episode for almost an hour, but I feel like maybe 10 minutes of it are usable <laughs> so far. So let's keep, just keep going for a bit, huh? Okay, we're back at the sunken ship. Now, please, can one of us do something with this? Mmm. Okay, I looked it up. We're going back to Triton's Palace, then we're coming back here with Ariel in the party, and that is what will make this button work. I had a feeling Ariel was involved somehow, I just couldn't remember how. Okay, I, we, I've got a long trip to make. You just hang on. I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing... I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. The plot thickens. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Here we go. This world always makes me impatient for some reason. <laughs> the trident is mine at last. And I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? She makes a good point. Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. We cannot find the keel. The keyhole is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> and she's gone. What did we miss? Daddy! The trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. Yes. No, you are getting into our party for sure because... Gotta open that door. Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. Good tip. Thanks, King. You rest up. No, don't get up. We'll be fine. Is there anything else interesting in here? Hey, that's convenient. I'll take that any day. <sighs> well, another journey awaits us. All right, finally got back here, and now finally, finally, finally. Isn't there something else you should be doing? No, this is the time. What are you talking about? Sora. I really could have sworn this was what I was supposed to be doing. <sighs> Hang on. I don't think there's anything else I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I supposed to beat up the shark first? Is... I don't know why I would need to beat up the shark first to make this work. Seems unintuitive. Besides, I've, I've beaten up the shark like four times already. Like off camera. He's just been wandering around these other areas as I swam around lost. It's like, he's great for some easy experience. 100 XP every time I beat him up, and a bunch of items as well. But maybe this is all that needs to happen. Maybe I just need to beat up the shark, and then... Ow. 
Ow. Please don't die. There we go. More experience is good. I'll take it. And hopefully this is all I need to do. And then some goodies. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Fingers crossed. If this doesn't work now, I'm going to lose my mind. Ah. <sighs> Finally. Need some help? I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> like this. It's actually a pretty easy trick. When you just look at it. Ooh, this is a pretty area. At least we get a very lovely room. As consolation for all this trouble. Love the color scheme. The purple and red is really nice. At this point, after this long recording, I feel like, whatever, let's just finish this world before this episode's over. I just want to be done <laughs> with this particular place. Ready to move on to new lands. Oh, that is cool, though. Oh, they've even got this creepy room. There's lots of little individual, like, areas and places that I don't really actually remember from my uh, previous playthroughs, and I did not actually remember swimming through this quite unsettling little space. Do they attack you or anything, or do they just kind of shrink away? Oh, they just kind of look at you. I love it. Anyway, let's fight Ursula. Your time has come. Oh, she mad. Yep, she mad. And I guess I gotta beat up the cauldron, he says, or use magic on it. Uh, did that do anything? Hard to tell. Well, let's beat up her little, uh, pets here. Get them out of the way. Come on. Alright, there's one. There's two. Where's she? Oh, she's way up high. Okay. Come back here. Come back here. Whoop, watch it, watch it. <laughs> oh, that reused laugh is very funny. Doesn't seem to be doing very much. Let's, um, maybe keep attacking the, uh, cauldron. I can't tell if it's really doing anything. Hmm. I definitely remember Triton saying, use magic on the cauldron, or attack the cauldron or something. So, whoa, something just happened there. Uh, so let's keep using magic, I guess. Hmm. I'll keep attacking her for now until I get MP back. Maybe I have items for that. I do have a Mega Ether. Let's just use it. There we go, that helps a bit. Now let's attack the cauldron. With all of our spells. Ooh! It's doing something. Ah, it's stunning them! Awesome! Okay, that's the trick. Her health's going down a little faster, it feels like. Might be in my imagination. No, no, it's definitely going down faster. Okay, so cast magic at the cauldron, which stuns her and her lackeys, then beat up on her... forever, I guess? Oh, no, wait, she's back up. Okay. Let's rinse and repeat. They really needed to record more lines for these boss enemies. <laughs> A single laugh for Ursula and a single read of no escape for her cronies is not enough. Come on. 
Stun her again, please. I want to win the fight. Always a long fight. There we go, yes, another stun. Let's finish it. Come on. Wear down her health. She's got so much health. No! <sighs> Rinse and repeat. Stun her. Yes! Yes! Victory! Finally! That was a long fight. Oh, now we done made her matter. Let's go. We must get the trident back. Mermaid kick? What does that do? Oh, to swim faster or against currents, equip this and press circle repeatedly. Awesome! Being able to get around this world a little faster is definitely something that I would like. And again, I would end the episode at this point, but I want to be out of this world. <laughs> so... Let's just make one really long episode and get this over with. Okay. Let's try out this mermaid kick. Ooh, not bad. Fast swim, fast swim, yes! Okay, here's the grotto. Let's go in. Let me check my abilities. We did level. Got some levels in there. Uh, more treasure magnet? Yes, please. I should probably dedicate some points to Leaf Bracer at certain points, just because not being able to have your cure casting broken or interrupted can mean the difference between life and death. But things aren't quite that consistently difficult yet, so let's just stick with this. I do love how many abilities the Disney characters have when you bring them into your party. They really are very good. Anyway. Here we go. Uh. Oh, shoot. Where's the trident? Do I gotta go back to the king? <sighs> to the king! With haste! Hello, king. Can I have my trident back, please? You've all become much better swimmers. You even learned to make headway against strong currents. Thanks. The currents bring signs of darkness. Who knows what lies in that grotto? <sighs> Hang on. Okay. Okay. I know where to go now. We've another boss battle to contend with. Okay, I think this is the room I'm supposed to be in, and I think I'm supposed to swim against this current to get to the very start of it, I think. I think that's what I gotta do. Or maybe I just gotta get to this uh, room up here. This might be where I gotta get. I think we did it. Yes! Yep, she's still mad. And she's big. She's mad and big. I feel like I remember this battle being somewhat challenging, so... Hopefully I won't die a lot. No, 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 no! <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a long fight. Come on. 
Donald, stop dying. Donald, you gotta be good for something more than dying. Ow. She does look really cool, though. Ow. I think it's a pretty impressive amount of spectacle, right? Especially for PS2 era. No, don't die, please. Yikes. Is someone else going to attack her? I wonder if I should have had Goofy in here instead of Ariel. I'll get out of there. Sorry I'm not saying much, I'm just very focused. No! I'm gonna get bit. Uh, we're whittling her down, bit by a little bit. Maybe I should be using some magic. What's happening? What's happening? I feel like fire's not doing a whole lot. I better save that MP for cures. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Run! Okay. Wow, those two are just getting torched. <laughs> Come on. Ow. Almost got her down to just one health bar, though. That's something. Yikes. Don't die, please. Come on. This is gonna hit me, but I'm just gonna take the hit. Ariel, Donald, come on, help me out. Bad. That was close. What was our line? Oh. It's that ability. Yeesh. Alright, let's get a little let's get a little space here. We've almost got her down. Gotta fight smart. Oh, come on. I thought we got away. Donald. This is not good. There we go. Gotta use them items. Get in. Get some hits. She's got so much health. I probably need to level up another couple of times. That'd probably make this easier. Oh, yeah, that was a good opportunity, though. We've almost got her. We've almost got her. We've almost got her. Heal up. We've almost got her, almost got her, almost got her, almost got her. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! That was a little more challenging. Yay, we win! <laughs> and now back to this peppy music. Daddy, I'm sorry. Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the crystal! 
Why'd you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole's dangerous. I had to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy. Keeper, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. My trident also holds the power to reveal the keyhole. We're saying that word too much. I'm putting just a, like a stop to us using that word for the next episode or two, okay? <laughs> Will you do it? Of course. It's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the... that? <laughs> you should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Really? Sora, let's go. The power of thunder! Alright, we got an upgrade. That's good. And another Ansem's report. Next episode, let's read some reports and descriptions if any of them are uh, applicable. Because getting some of that uh, additional plot information uh, may be useful. At one point I was thinking we just wait till kind of the end and of the game and read a bunch of that stuff, but uh, the more I think about it, I think some of that uh, lore information will be relevant sooner than that. So uh, we'll do some reading of that stuff next episode. This one is already lasting way too long. Well, let's go to the grotto. And we're here, finally. We found it. Yay! We're done with Atlantica, finally! Tell me, Sora. Your world? What's it like? Uh, I'll gone. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> it's okay. Besides... If you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. <sighs> well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. Good joke. Now... I think it's about time- oh, hang on. This is from my collection. I want you to have it. Yay, a new weapon! For our troubles. But boy, this certainly was one very long episode. Those of you wanting longer episodes? Here. <laughs> Hope you liked it. At least I think it was longer. It was the longest recording of this of story mode Kingdom Hearts so far, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Next time, we are going to be somewhere else. And I'll see you then. I am very much looking forward to it. Goodbye!